So here we have 97 and 65 hundredths plus 626 and 3 tenths. Since we're adding decimals, the most important thing to do is to make sure that we line up our decimal point. I'll start by writing in the first number nicely and neatly. The next thing I'll do is write in the next number, but I'm going to use a decimal point as a guide. See this decimal point here in our first number? I'm going to make sure I write this decimal point directly underneath the first one. So I'll write that decimal point here, and then I'll write everything to the left of that decimal point. So I'll write 6, then 2, then 6. So that's still the number 626. To the right of the decimal point, I'll put the number 3. So that's going to go right here under the 6. If you have any empty spaces, what I like to do is what's called annexing a 0. That means I write a 0 there as a placeholder. So since there's a blank space here, I'll put a 0 there. And there's another blank spot here, so I'll fill that with a 0 as well. Now that I have everything lined up nicely and neatly, I'll write my addition sign, underline everything, and get to work starting from the right. And I just want to point out the reason for why we're lining up the decimal point. The reason for lining up our decimal point is because it properly lines up our place values. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 6 plus 3 is 9. I'll bring down my decimal point. 7 plus 6 is 13. So I'll bring down the 3 and I'll carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. And 10 plus 2 is 12. I'll bring down the 2 and I'll carry the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Plus 6 is 7 making our final answer 723 and 95 hundredths, more commonly read as 723.95.